What's going on my friends? How are you? This is Dryden. Today I want to unbox for you the Sekiro Shadows uh, Die Twice Collector's Edition that I just picked up from my local GameStop. Here in the United States, uh, it was actually a GameStop exclusive, so I picked it up from GameStop. You know, not your regular Amazon or Best Buy as an example. Uh, here in the back you can see what's included in the box, uh, inside the Collector's Edition I mean. And on the top you can see the Shadows May Die Twice Sekiro logo, just like the bottom. So on the back you can see quickly uh, the steel book, the 8 inch uh, Chinobi statue, the art book, uh, the three coins, and a scroll here. Uh, so let's open this bad boy up for you guys can see. I did cut a little bit of tape here just to make this unboxing quicker. So you take out this uh, sleeve here uh, that you saw and put it on the side. And the box itself, it's a black box, has like a, a like a white, like an oldish uh, view to it. Uh, uh, view to it. Uh, here you got the Shakiro uh, Shadows Die Twice logo as well. And on the bottom and the top is the same uh, image of the game itself, okay, writing. So once you open those up, this one actually opens here in front uh, like that. Let's just pull this bad boy up. Once you pull it up, uh, what's included here is just a, it gives you a little image of, it uh, looks like they want you to actually cut this guy up here in different places. Oh, I see what it's saying. So actually it wants you to cut the, the things that's holding the statue in place. So they want you to make sure that you don't actually damage the statue. And here just telling you how to put the sword in place. Okay, that's good. Just to make sure you don't damage it. Uh, you take out the little foam that brings on the top. And then once you open this guy up, this is what's inside. You have the steel book, the three coins, the statue, and the art book. And the scroll, I'm sorry. So let's start off with uh, my ultimate favorite things, which is steel books. The big steel book guy, like all of you know very well. So here is the front of that very nice uh, steel book, very great looking Shinobi there. You have Sekiro Shadow Die Twice on the spine, and on the back, uh, same thing Sekiro uh, Shadow Die Twice. So let me take this out a little bit just in case there's a cold. So nope, there's nothing inside guys. So you have the PlayStation 4 game. Let me just turn it around to give it to you guys an image here. You got the Shakiro, uh, Shakiro uh, Shadows Die Twice and the logo here. Let me take the game out of the way for a second. So once you take out the game, this is what you have. You have an image of, again, on the left side, Sekiro. On the right side, you got the Shinobi image. So very cool, very nice uh, steelbook. Excellent. So I see a lot of these being sold in eBay there for 50, 60, 70 dollars. So I know they sold out a lot in the United States. Did that sell out anywhere else, guys? I don't know about worldwide, and I just want to know what you guys think on your end. Also included is the art book itself. Here's the front, here is the back, here is the spine. And then let's open it up. Uh, just I'll flip through some pages real quick, guys. Try not to spoil it too much for some of you. I'm not going to show every single page. So, a lot of the characters. I mean, what do you guys think about this game? I know it's getting a lot of great reviews out there. And we all know that this is not your typical easy game. This is definitely a game that takes some skills and takes some patience and prepare to die and be able to learn, rinse and repeat, right? Okay, also included in here is the Shakiro. Uh, digital soundtrack. That's great. I like my soundtracks. So I'll probably be putting the song there in the background soon. Okay, then just a couple paperwork here. Nothing important. And then let's take out here. Give me a second. Yeah, these coins are a little bit tight here. Actually, let's do the, the scroll real quick. So here's the scroll. It comes tied up with a uh, like a, like a yard here. Let's open this bad boy up. Give me a second. So, it's actually a nice and thick uh, paper. It makes it look like if it's old, if you notice the color, looks like it is like an old color scroll. Once you open it up, what it is, is actually, it's like an image of the town, the town itself. So that's pretty cool, in case any of you guys want to frame it. It definitely looks looks nice. And then let's take out the statue figurine itself real quick. Give me a second here. Great. Okay. And I got my medical scissor here. 
a second. All right, there we go. So once you cut that up, you got here the figurine statue itself. So let's take out the sword. The sword, you notice it was there. So let's put the sword on Mr. Shinobi here. All right, so once you put the sword in, there we go, very cool. So here is the figurine, eight inch figurine. I'll give you a quick 360 view. It's very detailed, you know, I really like this one. You can see a lot of details, the color is very nice. You know, for this, this one was $89.99, $90 plus tax. This is a great collector's edition for the price. Uh, here's the bottom, Securo, uh, Shadows Die Twice, made in China, 2018 uh, from software. So, is you know, for me, $89, that's awesome. That's an awesome collector's edition. I think this will have easily sold for $200 and, or $150 and people will have still paid it. So, meanwhile, I'm just going to take this out. So, inside is nothing. It's just actually this, this box is just holding everything else. So, they're just protecting to make sure nothing happens. So, that's smart of them to do that. So, uh, again, let's take out these coins. They're actually a little bit stuck here. Um, and they are, they are actually are, they are metal coins. So, it's not your typical, there we go. I took one out, it's really hard pressed. And you heard that? So it's, you know, really metal coins, guys. So it's not like plastic PVC or anything like that. So that's the second one. And I gotta hurry up here. That way the bit is not too long. And here's the third one. So here's a total of three coins included as well. See, you can see it's actually metal. So here's the front. Here's the back of them, so it's your currency. So let me just recap what's included. So again, this is $90, local GameStop United States. You got your collector's edition sleeve. You got your collector's edition box. You have the eight inch figurine, which is great and awesome for my collection. Um, I like it. You have your art book. You have, of course, the PlayStation 4 game the collector's edition steelbook as well you got the scroll and you got the three metal coins so that's not bad for 90 dollars that's that's a whole all-in package guys i hope you enjoy oh i almost missed it we got also the digital soundtrack so man this is a very good full collector's edition 90 dollars not bad at all what do you guys think if you don't mind please leave a like on my channel Subscribe if you haven't and watch my other videos if you're interested. Game on guys, take care.